Salem. Welcome to Flavorful Eats. Today we are enjoying good food for November. Join, joining me is Herbal Deep, Nafrit and Sid. And Nafrit will give us a little bit of history of what we're cooking and doing today. Sure, thank you. We're just doing a sweet rice dish, that's yeah. all I know. Yes, um, and a little bit of that is a surprise for Hamsha and all. So November happens to be um, 550th anniversary of Guru Nanak Dev. Guru Nanak Dev Ji for us um, is um, the person who started our religion Sikhs. So Sikhism as a religion was started about 550 years ago with, with Guru Nanak Dev Ji's uh, uh, birth. He was our first guru. We've had 10 gurus um, uh, in, in history and um, our first guru uh, started a lot of new things for us. One of them was Langar. Langar essentially is an institution within our um, religion which is very important um, to the Sikh faith where the idea is we have a community kitchen mm. in every Sikh Gurudwara. Sikh Gurudwara are the place of worship where we get together to pray. In every place of worship that we gather together there will be a langar. Langar essentially the concept is anybody and everybody is welcome. Anybody who could be from any religion, any um, race, any gender, any, uh, you know, anything, any attribute, right? Anybody can walk in. It's not just for Sikhs. It's not just for people who believe in God. It's not just for people uh, who can afford to, to come there. Anybody who walks in can sit there, has to sit there at the same level with everybody else. You could be the richest thing, you could be the most powerful thing there is, you could be the president of the United States, like in our movie, or you could be the homeless person um, from down the street. Anybody can walk in, sit down on the same floor, eat the same food that is cooked, and there's continuously, in, in multiple gurudwaras uh, in, in the world, um, this happens 24-7. But in some Gurdwaras uh, where, you know, the congregations are not that big, um, it happens uh, with some frequency, like there's a Gurdwara that you have in Westboro, Massachusetts, which is what we are associated with. Um, you would have um, about four to five times a week uh, this kind of a langar going on where, um, you know, um, uh, everything is essentially, if you think about it, you don't have to pay for anything. So no, not a single person is turned away. Everybody is welcome and everybody can sit at the table with you all. Perfect. That's the most yeah. important message out there. So with that, shall we start with our little sweet rice? Absolutely. And, uh, Absolutely. So, the, re so, so the, the, the concept of today's um, f uh, food for us is langar. In langar, Usually you would have some staple items like dal and roti and rice and then there may be more items. But then one item, one dessert, one popular dessert that happens at the langar is sweet rice, what we call in Punjabi, mithe chawal. So why don't we start making it because I'm feeling hungry, I'm <laughs> sure everybody too. So you're going to first so say you two cups of water to yeah, boil. Please. Oh, you need yeah. to tell the recipe. So yes, so two cups of water to boil. Two cups of water to boil. And to that you're adding how much of sugar? So you're basically making one a cup syrup. of sugar, not quite a syrup, but it, it uh, is like a syrup. Yeah. yeah, you're right. And then you're adding some other ingredients to that. So this should, um, while we're waiting for this to, do you want to do some stirring while you're talking? Sure. <laughs> well, generally when we talk about langar, see this is called taking undue credit. <laughs> I'm not going to do anything. <laughs> Everything is done with Napreet and Sadek, but uh, I'm stirring the pot. So typically <laughs> in langar, we uh, associate langar with the with a nice dal, mm -hmm. with fulke. So we thought like a lot of people... Fulke is roti. Fulke is roti. Uh, leaven bread. So if you go to YouTube, you'll find a lot of videos on that. So we thought, let's pick something which people don't know about that, mm -hmm. which is called mithe chaur. You can say mithe chawal. I call it chaur. So which is rice. It's a sweetened rice. And I believe we're going to make it look like uh, yellow orangeish. Is, is that uh, yeah, we'll, yeah. So the yeah. first thing that Nafrit done is, is he soaked, a, washed a cup of rice, he soaked it for five minutes, he's now draining the water out to do the next step. 
right sir because okay. generally they say if you can't take heat get out of the kitchen ah. i'm feeling hot i need to remove the shirt yeah, okay <laughs> All right, so this is uh, just about boiling uh, enough free. Yep. Yes. So we're going to add the. So you're going to put ghee there first? Are you adding ghee there first? No, we're, we're not first. Oh, you want to do yeah, this first totally? First. Okay. I just want to see. So this is uh, wh when it comes to a boil. Which is happening boil. right now. Okay. Add a boil. So we, um, That's nice. we can start putting uh, some, some raisins. So this is just regular raisins. That regular you raisins. Uh, uh, this is less than quarter cup. Mm -hmm. More like a one eighth cup. So it's uh, two tablespoons of raisins. Yeah. Yeah. Or and two tablespoons sure of. Uh, this is about slivered a quarter okay. cup of uh, sliced, slivered, uh, yeah, sliced um, and then, sorry. almonds. almonds. Yeah. So it's not roasted, right? Raw almonds. Raw almonds. So quarter cup of raw almonds, two tablespoons of uh, raisins. Yes. Yeah. And here's the secret ingredient. For the color. This is this is the saffron. Saffron that gives a just, good smell. Just a couple taste. of pinch. Mm -hmm. Also builds the appetite. Yeah. And while this is happening, okay. are you lefty, righty, righty? Sid, you want to do this? Okay, okay. so this is boiled. Yeah, Does it come out? Yeah. It's not on. Yeah. We just need to get bring it to a boil. Just mix everything in it. Mm -hmm. That's that's essentially it. So it's all dissolved and ready, yeah. and that's also ready there too. That's yeah, it's heating up. Mm -hmm. So this this is good. And the next thing we do, is add your uh, rice there. Add the rice to it, and my mother-in-law's recipe. Oh. And she told me again and again to make sure that I don't dump the rice in mm. because <laughs> that brings extra water with it. Yeah. Ah, yeah. When you soak it, the most important ingredient is love. The good thing is, Cook is. With just love. like film making, love. very similar to film making, but very small things. Yes. That yes. make the movie. That's so true, Sid. Yeah. And a lot of people say cooking is very therapeutic, isn't it? Yes, they do say that. Mm. It's one of my favorite things to do. So. <laughs> yeah, I don't do cooking, but the therapeutic part is so making it interesting to learn cooking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So now, the big magic. So you already stir fry that so soon? That's we don't. We don't have to stir fry oh, it. Okay. Just. Okay. The big magic. We should have the drum roll. We're gonna add it later. <laughs> <laughs> that looks cool. That looks good. Right. You got the color. Yeah. And we didn't add so any mm. any extra color to it, which you can. But I know. Um, from nowadays, there are questions on artificial colors and carcinogenic and all of that. So we prefer not to go with that. Now, another very interesting variant of this can be uh, using um, jaggery instead of sugar. Yes. When you make the rice, then you don't need to add the saffron because jaggery has its own brown color. But saffron adds another taste, another dimension, another health value to your system too. Yep. It's an expensive, yeah. um, one of the most expensive spices, but it does a lot of good value for your for you. And for those who don't know what jaggery is, like yesterday he told me jaggery, I had no idea what a jaggery is. <laughs> it's a gourd. Yeah. In well, gourd, in, uh, gourd. <laughs> but it's unprocessed sugar. It's when yeah. the sugar cane is just uh, uh, harvested and the first process of it is called uh, yeah, exactly, and, exactly. and I think here now it's being called palm sugar too, but mm. I think palm sugar and jaggery are two different things, but that's yeah. still to be thought about and spoken about it. Yeah, yeah. I, I grew up in a village, so I've seen okay. actually after the sugar cane is cut, mm -hmm. they, that process, they have a kulati, you can try. Yeah. so they are processing it and you can actually taste fresh gourd mm -hmm. or jaggery coming out of that whole process. And nothing oh, better than fresh jaggery. Exactly. And actually I was told specifically by my mother-in-law, whose recipe this is, that I should not be stirring stirring it, and I just stirred it, I just realized. But uh, <laughs> if you're so trying you it at home, don't stir it. You just have to spread it out a little bit, just to make sure that it is evenly spread. And when we put the lid on, we don't put the lid on to completely cover it. We leave some of it off so that the water keeps draining, the steam doesn't build up in there. That's essentially it. We leave it for 20-ish minutes. minutes 
So and keep checking. So, if Ashima is watching this show, she should be so proud of this channel <laughs> I'm standing here. He exactly stuck to the whole finer details. Good job. Recipe to the T. Shidek, so you're proud of your dad, isn't yeah. it? We all are. Shidek is better in the kitchen than I am, yeah. by the way. Generally, it's one is to two for water. So, one part of... Oh. Uh, grain to two cups two of water, cups of water yeah. so you have that perfect uh, combination right there perfect. and rice takes 15 to 20 minutes to cook other people use their fingers to see really? how, what did it how oh. much water needs to be put in yeah. so there's different methods different yeah. people use to uh, measure that out that's so true so yeah. while this is cooking you want to tell us a little bit about the kitchen that you have uh, sure okay. so um in westboro ma by the way anyone watching this um you are most welcome um, to come and join us any Sunday. Uh, that's a s that every Sunday we will have a lunch there around 1 to 2 p.m. I would suggest come around 12.30, 1 at the minimum, at the latest. But I ideally, come a little before that. You can attend our mass, uh, our service as well. Our service is, um, uh, you know, um, a, a going to be a different experience for you and, and anybody and everybody as I said is welcome. Yeah. What you need to do for that is take your shoes off at the entrance. There's a place to take the shoes off. There's going to be a place with some scarves to cover your head because not everybody coming in will be wearing a turban. But um, you can take, pick something, uh, a, a small scarf, put it on your head. Your head is covered, your shoes are off, you're showing your respect for the place, you're following the rules. That is all that you need to do. And you can go in the Divan, what we call our, our service, you can attend that. You can go to the Langar Hall and you can eat a breakfast first in the morning uh, and a lunch. Both of them will be there. Um, we have a huge kitchen. The kitchen is fairly large um, and um, lots of, you know, like, uh, like um, uh, huge um, uh, machine to knead the flour, you know, a huge uh, uh, grill to cook the chapatis. Okay, so yeah. machine all. And, and just to add to that information, if you can't make it on Sunday, we have, we call it a darbar sahib. Uh, so you can come Wednesday evenings and you can come Friday evenings. You won't have a la lavish uh, langar as such because a lot of people sponsor langars and uh, they would love to cook whatever uh, they would like to do it. So Sundays we have a breakfast and lunch, but you can come Wednesday and Friday to have have a taste of that langar. So one <laughs> fact I learned, so, and again, guys, correct me. Uh, if when you go to Gurdwara or temple or any uh, any place, mm -hmm. saying the reason uh, langar is important is, so there's a word in Hindi, bhukhe pet bhajan na hai gopala. When you're hungry, you can't really concentrate on God or towards that what infinity of whatever you are trying to mm -hmm. achieve there. So once you're well fed, so you go to Langar, have food and then just go connect with your God. So I think that's another way. And if you come to our Gurdwara Sahib in Westboro, when you come, the Langar Hall is downstairs. So first you go have breakfast, whatever, and now you can go and sit down and enjoy that serene environment of that shabal, that vichar. And we have two uh, screens there. Because when they're doing Gurbani in, in the native language of Gurmukhi, you may not understand it, but we have two screens with actual English meaning. Mm -hmm. So you can connect and understand it very well too. Yeah. Your experience, so now you are um, a PA at Khalsa School, so tell us something about that. Yeah, so um, first going on the Langar. Langar is something which for me, for a lot of my life, was just something I would just go there and eat. Um, every Sunday or every Friday or whenever I would go to Gurdwara but now I understand the ideology behind it and it's it's a lot more than that it's a equalizer um, it's just it, it's um, so a place where anyone can eat and sit with each other sit on the floor or whoever's medically able to and it's uh, just a really unique thing that I haven't seen in many other uh, places and, and recently uh, just to add uh, recently there was a power outage at Fountainhead's apartment mm -hmm. in yeah. Westboro and uh, Gurdwara opened their doors and said because we have a power here so you guys can most welcome to come sleep in the rooms 
or if you want to have longer food. So it, it was open and a lot of people used to come and it was so good to see everybody coming in. And, uh, yeah, and that happens need. actually across the country, across the world. Yeah. Uh, like in, in Frisco when there were floods in San Francisco, then uh, similar thing uh, when, um, you know, hurricanes come uh, or some such issue happens, Gurdwaras usually um, would not only offer shelter, they would offer um, food as well to um, exactly. multiple uh, pop pe people around. Uh, seva, which uh, the whole service concept um, is, is, is uh, very important to Sikhism in, in general. And we, we essentially have a, um, a line that we like to quote it for kids often. Seva is not just, um, you know, a, 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 choice. a choice for us or an option. Uh, it is our responsibility. Yeah. doing service uh, so that's where you know Sikh values are very Guru Nanak's values are very much in line with American values they're very much in line with 21st century values you know work hard um, you need to remember God at, at all times and you need to share with others these are three golden rules wow we're sharing with everybody today right <laughs> and you three of you have a very fancy t-shirt on. yes yes and this essentially last word. yeah this reflects this word uh, we related with our, our guru guru nanak because guru nanak broke so many norms uh, and barriers when he started this religion that the idea was that um the guru is um challenging every um ritual every step every practice yeah. to understand is it discriminatory i can I move around so you can keep yeah. talking keep the rev revolution going uh camps ahead 2019 that's uh, our um, annual retreat that we do uh, on memorial day today's meal is in celebration of guru nanak's 550th birthday birthday yeah. Yeah. which is being celebrated in a big scale on november 12th yeah but it's more like it's an all year um, uh, event if you think about it, because right. 550th is a big marker yes, for yes, us right. uh, it's a it's a very young religion so but it's very interesting i found that it's, it's full moon i think november 12th oh, wow. is full moon so that's, that's what you uh, yeah, <laughs> it, it goes by the lunar calendar yeah. yes that's so one good. thing when uh, i saw this uh, shirt so if you read a lot of uh, guru nanak's literature people mm -hmm. say he was a prophet he was a saint yeah that he that's true too but he was a rebel also because mm. he stood against practices which were prevalent at the time, uh, like caste system. Mm -hmm. He said everybody's equal. Sati, the woman was set on a pyre with a dead husband because they thought there's no life for her after that. Right. He said, no, that's not allowed. So there are multiple women mm -hmm. equality, gender equality. So he was an iconoclast. So by just saying he was a saint and prophet, I think we are under underestimating you know, the, his power. This is a common misconception that yep. that Guru Nanak to Guru Gobind, uh, you know, we've got mm -hmm. 10 gurus. And the common misconception that we often hear is that Guru Gobind Singh sta started the militarization of Sikhs. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, in fact, the reality of it is that um, Guru Nanak was, uh, Guru Gobind Singh was not doing anything different from what Guru Nanak was doing. It was a continuation of that thought. Guru Nanak was as much of a rebel uh, as anybody, he was definitely not what, what he often gets referred to by non six as pacifist. He was mm -hmm. not a pacifist. He's, he's essentially standing in front of Babur and, and uh, who was the ruler at the time whose armies were plundering people and telling him you were doing a wrong thing. Right. And, and that, you know, the, the Babas and the Sadhus, they don't do that. Usually that is done by people who are willing to stand up, take a stand and, 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 and fight, right? Yeah. And that's where Guru Nanak got in trouble as well for that. But that's exactly the point. You don't equate whether I'm going to raise my voice or not to the fact whether I'm going to get in trouble. Okay. You raise your voice when something wrong is happening. And that's essentially what Guru Gobind Singh did. That's what Guru Nanak did. That's very much in line. Yeah. Okay, so shall we come right back? Sure thing. All right, Nafrit, it looks like it's ready, is it? Let's check. My clock says 18, 17 seconds. <laughs> 17 seconds? Calm mm. down and start it, guys. All right. So you never know the number. 10, 9, <laughs> Let's 8. Let's check it. Tell us. So while I think looking, let's, let's talk to Siddiq and uh, we did not talk much. So yes. Yeah. So when you were going on stage to 
do your acceptance speech and when you got the trophy. Talk about that experience. We never got a chance to talk also. Um, that was, it was really great because, you know, finally the movie getting some recognition was great. It was great for that movie. It was great for the future. Uh, and also, you know, if when you get an award, you feel really good. So uh, that was a great moment. If you like, if there's a video or something, you could see that I, I couldn't stop smiling. Yeah, so it's just good to see that the goal we wanted to achieve with that movie is being met, and now we can reach even higher with the next movie. So I gotta ask one more question. You'll be very honest with me, okay? Yeah. Now, I know mo movie was very well received. You got this big award. Our story is written by so many newspapers, press release. Do you feel like you're a star now? Uh, How's, I know, I'm sure a lot of people think, Tell me something about when you walk to school for the first time with your name in newspaper, everybody talking about see dick, see dick. How was that experience? I mean, it was cool because like my brother who goes to my old school, he had his open house and when we went there, there were a lot of parents coming up to me and telling me that they saw about me in the in the news. The beacon. The beacon, yeah. Yeah, nice. Look, and um, also some kids at school. Um, it, it feels good, you know, but... I'm not like a you know big star, so I'm still normal Sadduk going about his day. But you know it feels good when someone comes up yeah. to you and congratulates you for uh, your for that movie because it was a lot of hard work. It may only exactly. be 12 minutes, but we didn't put 12 minutes of work into it. We put yeah. 12 months of work into it, so it was a lot of work. Yeah, and and that's where you know I think we need to definitely take this opportunity to thank everybody in Acton Boxborough region who continuously encourages us, but also thanks so importantly, you know, the, 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 the congregation, what we call Sangat of Westboro Gurdwara, right? They have been behind us in, in everything, right? Yeah. And, and they've been supporting us throughout. They've, we needed more than 100 people to shoot a movie mm -hmm. with zero budget. How are you going to Sorry, do that? Yeah. Right, and and not only do people have to participate, they have to listen, they have to take direction, they have yes. to make it happen, and and then on top of it, allow us to do yeah. that. So yeah. huge! And Thank you very much, everybody. And for your the support. thing is, uh, the person that had the vision. Yes. yes. No, it's well again. To start the project. And, and yeah. I, I will be very honestly. I'm not trying to be humble, which I'm not. Vision is overrated. I always tell I that. I think. More than a vision is execution. Right. And for that execution, you need to bring the right team together. All right. The, the team which believes in you as a person, like, that if is I, because true. this is a voluntary work. Mm -hmm. Now they need to see if I put my two hours of voluntary work, where can I take us? And that's why I say, I'm really, really thankful to this volunteers who, who totally believe in, in whatever you want to call it, vision. Yeah. 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 No, we are, we are uh, <coughs> standing here because of uh, things that Herbal it is, so it's the white so Kepa, and I always say the white is our God mm -hmm. and I think he put me on on this path to to do something for the community yes so and when you got roasted uh, cashews there right of yeah course. exactly so so these are some roasted cashews essentially I roasted them in uh, in a ghee separately so you fried it right? um, but if you didn't have if you didn't have the fried ghee you could always use roasted cashews from a bag roasted cashews from a bag or just even if you're going to use whole cashews, you can use whole cashews. Mm -hmm. uh, not whole cashews, I mean, um, you can use small pieces of broken cashew, that broken cashews. Uh, but um, the only difference by roasting them is they, they're softer and they gel better with the rest of the dish. Can you put almonds too? Yes. Any, the any almonds, <laughs> yes. Sorry. Okay. Any, any, any okay. nut. So. You can so. use pistachios, you can well, use I think chiroli. before you serve, we, we Did you do, don't do a little prayer yeah, or yeah. offering before you serve anything at So for a langar, when we do that, mm -hmm. uh, there is a, a separate prayer that is done. Right. Uh, but I don't want to um, yeah, do that here because for for a specific reason. Because when we do that, we we take our uh, we have our shoes off. We we've got our heads covered. We do it as a respect. Um, and uh, did you want to tell her about when we started in the King's Court? When we started in the King's Court, we actually have a video of that, and we can maybe uh, we'll, we'll send it to you. Mm -hmm. So you see that the whole team was there, six, non six, doesn't matter. And I think with that, uh, that Ardas, with that prayer, I think we saw these good results too. Yeah, it was the first shot 
of the first movie of our film school. Exactly. So it was an auspicious beginning that started with the film school. Too. It was the oh, first shot okay. we ever did for the whole film school. So, so and it's so auspicious. We give him something sweet after the movie. And this kid has also promised. Not this kid. A lot of kids on our film school have promised. One day, they're gonna show me red carpet of Oscars. Ah. We're gonna walk together. Yes, and we'll watch it. And now, yeah. this is taped. This is recorded. This is on record. <laughs> so, so let's serve this mithi chawal for that day. See what better way to start than it's sweet. I think we should ask our host no, to. No, I am the host, so my guests need to have it. <laughs> so you need to move this way, so we're on camera. And uh, so they, the, I can tell you from its looks that it is nice, separated, yeah. looking shining. So it's got in just the right amount of sugar. Thank and uh, Go ahead, please. please. <laughs> so, and let's see what what your take on your dad's cooking. You guys are on camera, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> this is really good. Mm. Yes, yeah, so you yeah. can, can see it's like a perfect rice Very dish. Very sweet. Which is I love it. Yeah, a rice, there's just the right amount of everything, right? Good, good job. Yeah. So, thank you, Nafi. All right, thank you so thank much. You. Thanks for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. We're, I'm sure, really, really thankful. We invite you to the Langar. Um, especially address, address, address is 168 Flanders Road in Westboro, Massachusetts. We invite you there and when you come there, uh, there's, there's a likelihood, high likelihood that you will find these and if you don't, come see me and I will, um, you know, give you the recipe or, or help you cook this or invite you to my home. But we will have the recipe on www.sevilfoeats.gmail.com. Click on subscribe to YouTube, www.sevilfoeats.com. Uh, at Action TV and always available at actiontv.org. From my guests, thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.